So Courtney, welcome to your Spanish class today. How are you doing? Good, how about you? I'm fine, thank you. So today I'm going to teach you some uh, directions. Do you know some specific verbs or some specific words? I know directo, izquierda, derecha. So directo, you said? Derecha, izquierda. Something else? Antes. Antes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, después. Después. Are you interested in visiting some specific place that maybe I can help you to get there? Um, possibly like a walk-in hike, like where would I be able to find the trailhead? But also just a quiet cafe that I could work at. Okay, excellent. So, for example, if we are at Parque Central mm -hmm. and you ask to somebody, do you know where yeah. is that place, for example? Tu sabes? Sí, sí, yeah. correcto. Tu sabes dónde está mm, mm -hmm. el café más cercano, the closest. But let's say first, tu sabes. Mm -hmm. So, tu sabes dónde está el café? Tranquilo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Un café. Tranquilo. If you want to say el banco, bank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, una escuela de salsa. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the places that you are interested in is el café, mm -hmm. el banco, y la escuela de salsa. Okay, let's pretend that you don't know me. So what do you say to me? Yeah. Hola, me llamo Courtney. Um, tu sabes dónde está el café tranquilo? Por supuesto, I can say, of course. Okay, okay, that's something else that we can write. Tu caminas, do you know that? You the, walk. Do you mm -hmm. know the path or you? Sí, camina derecho and dobla a la derecha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, a la derecha, vamos a escribir. Even cruza is more common. Cruza a la derecha. So, the word cruza is to go more or less or to See, Wonder. like turn left or turn right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's to turn. It's sí. the verb to turn. Yes, okay. that's it. Camina tres cuadras. Cuadras, like blocks. Okay. Yeah, that's important. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Here is more common to say like avenidas or streets, calles. So somebody could say, cruza a la derecha, cruza a la izquierda. Camina, to walk, camina, mm -hmm. dos cuadras, tres cuadras. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they can take you with them. Uh, you can say, <laughs> camina a la izquierda, camina a la derecha. Cruza, even cruza dos cuadras, or tres cuadras. Mm -hmm. And you will be there. Mm -hmm. Estás allí. Es muy okay. común también. Or, for example, if you get lost, uh, mm -hmm. you can say something like, well, puede ayudarme? Puede ayudarme? Can you help me? Mm -hmm. For example, let's pretend again that you come closer to me. What would you say? Puedo ayudarme? Mm -hmm. Necesito uh, llegar. That would be important. I need okay. to arrive. Necesito llegar. Necesito llegar a, a la escuela. Escuela? Escuela? Escuela sí. de salsa. Ok, excelente. Necesito llegar a la escuela de salsa. How do you say I'm lost? Estoy perdida. Ok. <laughs> so, can you try once again? Ok. ¿Puedo ayudarme? Um, estoy perdida. Um, necesito voy a. Necesito llegar. Oh, uh -huh. Necesito llegar um, a la escuela de salsa. Por supuesto. Maybe okay. if you're getting there and you're close, like mm -hmm. maybe you have the place in front, but they can say, ¿Estás cerca? Claro, sure. ¿Estás cerca? Okay. Or ¿Estás lejos? <laughs> ¿Estás cerca? Is like, am I close? Or? Sí. ¿Estás cerca? You're close. ¿Estás lejos? Okay. ¿Estás enfrente? Or enfrente hay un café? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y estás allí. Okay. okay. What if it's behind? How do you say it's oh, behind? Detrás de. Okay. Está detrás de. 
Okay, Colleen. So that now that we have been practicing uh, more specifically on vocabulary, I would like to know if you have some specific phrases that you struggle with saying it mm -hmm. in Spanish. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Like, how much further do I go or how much further do I walk until I'm there? ¿Qué tan lejos? ¿Qué tan lejos estoy del parque? ¿Qué tan lejos estoy de, mm -hmm. del café o de la escuela? Okay. Do I have to go back? Oh, ¿Tengo so, que regresar? Yes. Yeah. Sí. <laughs> do you know where I can find a bank that will take Canadian dollars. <laughs> I guess they're hard to find, honestly. Okay, muy bien. Sabes? Do you know where? Sabes donde fue? Mm -hmm. Is there a landmark that you can give me to know if I've gone too far? Or something more simple, but that in mind, I guess? Okay. Uh, Hay una marca específica o una señal específica? Okay. Mm -hmm. Un edificio, a building, mm -hmm. un edificio, una casa que hay enfrente, o oh, una tienda, mm -hmm. like a store, mm -hmm. una tienda grande, una tienda pequeña, a place that is called, un lugar que se llama. Okay, so, oh, what is, llegar again? Is llegar, it? to arrive. Oh, to mm -hmm. arrive, okay. Sí. In school, I also learned it was to play. Yagar, is that it's similar? Jugar. Or to play an instrument? Yeah. Tocar. Tocar. Oh, okay, instrument. okay. For example, if you are on the car, yeah. uh, you can say, Lleveme a, take me to. Okay. Okay, to pay. That's an important thing. To pay the taxi. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Cuántos cuesta? Sí, ¿cuánto cuesta? Well, here in Guatemala, it's more common to say, ¿Cuánto me cobra? Mm -hmm. Okay. Por llevarme al parque, a la escuela, al café. So how much does it cost sí. me? Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're going the wrong way. <laughs> I feel like that's a good one. <laughs> sí. Creo. Yo creo mm -hmm, que este no es el camino. Or, if you're sure that you're there, Yo creo que este es el camino. Este. Uh -huh. yes. So you just take out the no? Sí. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay, yeah. Carly. For example, I'm a driver. And I can say, the driver can say, Bienvenida, señorita. ¿A dónde la llevo? Um, hola, lleve mi al parque, por favor. ¿Cuánto mi cobra puede llevarme? Sí. ¿A dónde? A la parque. Mm -hmm. sí. al parque. Mm -hmm. So you can add, ¿cuánto me cobra por llevarme al parque? Okay. ¿Cuánto uh -huh. me cobra por llevarme um, al parque? Sí. And they can say, it's very common to say, lléveme por favor. Because if you, you don't agree with the, with the price, yeah. lléveme por favor. Take me there, please. Oh, mm -hmm. take me there. That you're sure. Or if you don't, Oh, no. No, gracias. How do you say that's too expensive? Es muy caro. Es muy caro. <laughs> sí. Drop me off here, I guess, or I guess alto aquí? Mm -hmm. Déjeme aquí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I think we're ready uh, to pretend once again you're in the car. Hola, señorita. Hola. ¿A dónde quiere que la lleve? Llevarme. Mm -hmm. um, a la escuela de salsa, mm -hmm. por favor. Sí, and mm -hmm. if you want to know the price. Uh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por mm -hmm. llevarme? Por llevarme, sí. Mm -hmm. And le cobro 30 quetzales. Es muy caro. Mm -hmm. Never say es muy barato. They will try to say, oh, so I can say a uh, uh, highest price. <laughs> so no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you say, like, I need to go here and then after there? Oh. Like, can you wait for me, I mm -hmm. guess? Sí. Yeah. Necesito hacer dos paradas. Lléveme first, primero. Okay. O necesito llegar primero al parque. Mm -hmm. Y después, that's a word that you already okay, know. Sí. Y después. Y después. Mm -hmm. 
a la escuela de salsa. The word address is calle? Dirección. Dirección mm -hmm. is, is address, okay. Sí. Oh, so it's the same as avenue? Sí, avenida. Okay. En calle de street. Oh, calle street, okay. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. If you like this video, click the like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell. You can also click on any of the videos around me so you can continue your Spanish journey immediately. Well, that's it, guys. We really enjoyed you joining us, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Adios.